Hello! Welcome to Fall Damage. Oh. Fall Damage! We got Casey, that's me. Uh, we got Nick. And right I'm here. Chris. Uh, we're missing Dan. Dan is out of town for the time being, so we're playing a game that Dan may or may not care for that much. We're playing Metal Arms Glitch in the System. A glitch in the system. This came out for all three of the uh, platforms of its time, right? PS2, Xbox, and... Uh, yeah, it, GameCube, right? We're playing, we're playing it on it, a GameCube. We're so. playing it on a GameCube. So. But I've seen it for the Xbox. I've seen it for uh, PS2. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're laughing, Nick, but you named this profile. Do you remember that when I first like brought this over? Way back when we made that profile, Phil? Yeah, I remember that. All right, let's make a new one. Who are we? Oh, ooh. Phil 2. <laughs> <laughs> Electric Phil Lou. All right, uh, if it gives me enough letters, I'm going to name it Electric Phil, but probably <laughs> not enough letters. It makes sense because he's a robot. Electric. We should have uh, put that dog in the cage. Yeah, I just gave him dinner, though, so I didn't want to, like... Is it yeah, going to give us... It gave us Electric Phil. <laughs> Howdy boys, they call me Electric Phil. Alright, now, uh, I have, I don't think we've ever talked about this game on a, uh, Let's Play, but this is one of my favorite games. Well, this would be the appropriate Let's Play to do it. Yeah. Um. I like the Nuts of Steel. Nuts of Steel is the hardest difficulty. Let's it, do it! It means, oh man, no, Chris, that's asking for more than I'm willing to give right <laughs> let's, now. Let's play it on normal, because yeah. I have played through this game before, but it was like, more than seven years ago. Yeah. Playing on Nuts of Steel, like, it turns pretty much the whole game into a stealth game. Like, you can't be spotted once you get past, like, the first ten missions. It's not the whole game, then. Oh, Chris, no. Get that away from me. Alright. Little yeah. known fact, these guys don't like Jack Daniels. We don't like your weird, like... Flask? Vagrant hip <laughs> flask that you've been carrying around lately. Like he got that for his birthday. My flask is awesome. Thank you very much. It is <laughs> All right, I'm very gonna, stained hold steel. Up, hold up, Chris. Hold up that flask. I'm going to take a picture of you with that flask. But there we go. The point That's remains that this is not a situation for a flask because if you were to pull out a fifth of alcohol we'd be like cool chris is partying flask is what you use to sneak alcohol yeah, into family gatherings a flask gatherings. is a covert drink you're wasting yeah, you guys have, have no idea what i'm drinking it's jack it's always jack you never put anything other than jack in that flask also we have booze in the kitchen yeah we got a lot of booze in the kitchen why do you keep buying so much booze I don't think you have an alcohol problem. Times. I think you have an alcohol buying problem. I have a sober problem. <laughs> you never problem. drink it. <laughs> no, I do. There's still like 90% of a bottle of Seagram's and Seven that's been there for like four weeks. I mostly got that for Wendy. She, she drinks Seagram's. You like Wendy's? Yeah. You're going to love Wendy's nuts are slapping your kid. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I realized it as soon as I said it and I... I love the little film reel thing that they do. How many planets are there? How many what? Planets. In our, in, in our, in our, solar, in our system. solar system, there are eight. Well, there's only going to be seven when I destroy Uranus. <laughs> I'm going to kill you, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> we should probably throw subtitles on. Just... Yeah. Yeah. This is just a deeply charming game. Who's doing that voice? That sounds like uh, someone familiar. I'm not really sure. I might if I uh, am able to look it up. I'll throw who it is if it's anybody important. Kind of sounds like a guy from Team America. Yeah. Fuck me out of this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I mean the dog. Goddamn ninja dog. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to do this job correctly. Yeah. Yeah, go put him in that... Nick! <laughs> I haven't been drinking. 
<laughs> he has it. That's the worst part. All right. It's like so juvenile this game, the plot and the characters, but it's such a good action shooter that I can never like be upset with it. So. Uh, is he only a two-star general? I get. He's a colonel. Oh. He's only a two-star colonel? <laughs> is this the guy that's in charge of all the droids? Yeah. I wonder oh, he's there. in charge he of the games. rebels. <laughs> Alright, now the whole first mission is a tutorial. You can expect that. We can get through it pretty fast. I'm pretty sure the voice of Glitch is uh, some, a prominent voice actor, too. Uh... Is that Rip Torn? Yep. <laughs> I love this game. <laughs> if you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. <laughs> Does he not have troopers? He has two. <laughs> Is that Carl from Jimmy Neutron? Jimmy Neutron. Now, this is a third-person shooter, which, in a weird sort of way, I've always liked more than first-person shooters. Yeah. There's more emphasis on, like, adventure. Mm -hmm. what, are, what are those guys doing? Fleeing. These goddamn cowards. Oh, uh, before I forget, special shout out to my boy Troy. Who is your boy? Oh, yeah, your you're boy Troy? No, no, he's out in Seattle. Nick has an illegitimate son named Troy. <laughs> Living the Seattle That he life. abandoned in Seattle. <laughs> I, I, I gave this game to him for, like, his birthday and or Christmas. And has regretted it ever since. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> Which means all the other statements are also true. <laughs> but... I, I, I just wanted to say something because I know he loves this game. I'll tag him in Facebook or something. What, uh, do you remember all of the enemy units in this game, Nick? What are your favorite enemies to fight in this game? Because, like, people who are familiar with this tend to have favorites. Uh... What are the really creepy generals? Are? Oh, uh, those are the elites. The, the ones elites. with the creepy, like, gravelly voice. They're like, I know you're there. Yeah. Those ones always gave me, like, spooks. They got, like, the triple-headed axe thing that they swing, and, uh... Yeah, it shoots, like, yeah. beams. Yeah. They're, like, they're creepy because they, like... Do they're they a bitch because like, they melee if you. I'm remembering? No, they don't have capes. No. I really like the, uh... Uh, the Sentinels, I think they are. The ones that, uh, can fly. And they, like, yell Mayday when you blow them up. So far, this game's really charming. Oh, yeah. It's, uh... Like, this is all a tutorial, you know? So there's there's not a lot of action going on in this particular mission. But... I'm a huge fan of tutorials that kind of break the fourth wall, too. Yeah. Like, a lot of people aren't, but... Back here, bitch! I love how much they just 
flail. Like, oh, these things are like the battle droids from Star Wars prequels. They're fucking worthless. Uh, if you're a battle droid from the Star Wars prequels, we're sorry. I can just imagine some battle droids slamming their laptop shut right now. Roger, Roger. <laughs> Yeah, get in here, bitches. And there's so much, like, in a in a great way, there's a lot of innuendo in this game, which just doesn't make sense, because they're robots. Quick, shoot out the bridge! The enemy, like, death cries are always really satisfying in this game. Like little robotic Wilhelm screams. Yeah. Get me out of here. Take this charge and throw to those rocks. Why didn't you challenge me to, like, play this game instead of, uh... I remember Lost when we Planet. did that challenge thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> like, still... that lasted... It, technically, it's still going because I'm still playing Final Fantasy. <laughs> yeah, if you're uh, if you're out there and watching our Final Fantasy Let's Play, thank you. And we're sorry. <laughs> if you uh, give us your shipping address, we'll send you a, a hand uh, made uh, uh, thank you card <laughs> made by Chris Campbell himself. And all right, by. you're in charge of that project, if, Chris. If someone who watches our Final Fantasy Let's Play also watches this. Like, that's very specific. It's gonna be Danny. It's gonna be Danny. <laughs> Ouch. Also, just because you said that, someone who is just watching this might be like, hey, I'm gonna watch me the Final Fantasy one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then get you get themselves a thank you card. Chris, I can barely get you to upload on time, let alone mail thank you cards. God forbid we actually become popular. <laughs> well, that's what you and Dan are for, because you guys are the propaganda team. We've already, like, established that. Chris and I are like... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Propaganda team didn't, like, promise thank you notes. <laughs> There's no way we can be held accountable for this. I love that you can just spin on your hand while it's, like, zip lining. Well, it makes sense. I know. He like, that's have... what I mean. It's like the the fun touches. <laughs> it doesn't have, like, human wrists that All would, right. like, break. And... Alright. 